All right, let's talk about the adventures of Pinocchio. So this is the 1972 adaptation of the Carlo Collodi book. Um, so yeah, it's, um, so basically it's, there's not a whole lot to say about like what they, well, basically they don't take any liberties with the story as far as I can tell. It looks like it's like, a direct adaptation of the book um, so um, anyway this is an Italian movie which was later dubbed to English which I guess fits the original book which was an Italian book which was later dubbed for English audiences you know um, <clears throat> so yeah it's the story of Pinocchio where uh, you know He's created by Geppetto, and then he, uh, you know, he uh, goes on a bunch of little adventures where he must, uh, you know, at first he's like this horrible brat, and then like, you know, he just gradually, very gradually learns to, uh, <clears throat> you know, all of the uh, trades of being a decent child, basically. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of little adventures he goes on, um, <clears throat> and yeah, uh, several of which the Disney version loosely adapted, um, but yeah, I guess the story's similar enough, um, but yeah, anyway, this is a, uh, yeah, th there's not a whole lot to say, it's seems to be pretty much beat for beat the original story um, uh, but uh, so I guess I appreciate that I appreciate that they were willing to you know make it as faithful of an adaptation as possible but <coughs> you know making a faithful adaptation can be kind of a double-edged sword like when you like copy all the words from the book um, and like try to you know play the scene out exactly as it was in the original book then well you know movies run differently than uh, books so when you like adapt a movie straight from a book then like the scenes might drag a bit and that's kind of what happens in this there's like scene yeah, there's like numerous scenes with like a whole lot of talking and exposition and all that crap. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's kind of like yeah, like I said, it's a double-edged sword when you adapt a book so directly. It can work in some cases, but you know, I'm just saying it. Uh, it did kind of drag the movie down a little bit, um, but I don't know. I'm I'm conflicted with how they, you know, how closely they they adapted the book because I do appreciate that they di directly adapted it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it does come at the cost of a, uh, you know. Yeah, the, it does come at the co cost of pacing. Um, but, uh, you know, you see some nice character development with Pinocchio. Um, and, yeah, you know, all the really dark stuff from the book seems to still be there. You know, he... Uh, kills the talking cricket with a hammer then he uh, gets hung from a tree um you know then uh, he and uh, I guess it's it's not Candlewick in this version but you know that's what he was called in the English version anyway uh yeah him and Lampwick Candlewick whoever turning into donkeys and then Candlewick dying in, in labor you know or not that kind of labor. Yeah, you know. Uh, otherwise, I don't really have a whole lot to say. I mean, 
the animation was fluid, but uh, it actually kind of felt like those really old uh, Russian movies that I talked about forever ago. Um, you know, the ones that were like based on fairy tales and stuff. Yeah, I think it, it did move pretty similarly to those. Um, but I don't know, I guess that wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but you know, obviously comparing the animation of this movie to the animation of the Disney movie is, yeah, can't be done. Um, and the voice acting wasn't nearly as good as, you know, certain other movies, but I don't know, it wasn't horrible. Um, can't really say there were any voice actors where I was like, ugh. No, I, I think all the voice actors did fine. Um, it just wasn't anything spectacular. And I think that's pretty much how I sum up the movie. It's, uh, it's alright. It's nothing spectacular. I can't really name anything in the movie that was, like, fantastic. Um, yeah, pretty much the only thing that, like, really stands out with this movie is how closely it adapts the book. Um... But I will say that one aspect does help it stand out in a way. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so I kind of appreciate the movie. I don't think it's nearly as good as the Disney movie. Um, you know, you can... I think there's a lot of debate to be had which version, like... You know, which version is preferable, like, you know, you could definitely argue that Pinocchio's uh, character development in, like, the original book is, uh, you know, definitely deeper than in the Disney movie. Um, so, therefore, since this movie is a direct adaptation, um, <clears throat> yeah, is uh, you could definitely make a case for his character arc being better, but... I don't know, I, I still appreciate how they handled his character in the Disney movie probably a little more, because, I don't know, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it is a believable character, nonetheless, and, you know, I think the way they portray him, like, you know, trying to distinguish good from bad, you know, um, I mean... Obviously, I'm going to be a little biased. I mean, I love the Disney version. Um, but I still have appreciation for this one. I think there's still a case to be had for, you know, why some might uh, prefer this movie. Um, it's definitely, in, like, I don't think there's any argument to be had that, like, in terms of, like, animation and uh, voice acting and also the soundtrack. The soundtrack's... Uh, the soundtrack's, like, not bad, but it's got, like, a very limited uh, amount of, uh, you know, scores in it that, like, play over and over again throughout the movie, and the movie's, like, an hour and a half long, so, yeah, it's a bit annoying hearing the same, you know, arrangements over and over again. Um, but still, I think there is a case to be made for this movie, which, you know, so I would recommend it if you want to see, like, a straight-on, faithful adaptation of the book. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it for anything else. If you want, like, high-quality, uh, you know, writing and, uh, animation and music and all that, um, definitely the Disney movie is definitely better. Um, but still, I think there is some appreciation to be had with this version. Um, <clears throat> um, and, uh, yeah, I guess for that, I think I'll just go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. Um, it's not a movie I really care to see again, but at the same time, yeah, I appreciate it. So, uh, if there's anything else I feel like I should add, I'll put it in the comments, but, uh, yeah, there's not much I really need to talk about with this one, so...
yeah, overall, very faithful adaptation. A little mixed in quality, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Match it and smash it, signing off.